welcome to Linda's Reef. First of all, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. There have been quite a few changes to the reef since my last film. I've moved this lobophilia to the front away from the high flow. I seem to prefer it there. These corals here seem to be doing quite well. But this aquapora down here isn't, and I found out why. I discovered this hairy crab, which is a teddy bear crab, and they are bad news. So he is gone. A new pride and joy is a nice big blue clam. There is my female lineatus wrasse. I have a pair. And a Priscillapora coral which has that little pink crab that I featured on my competition film. Down in this bottom corner is where the male sand sifting goby lives. He excavates to the bottom of the tank and lives in that little hole at night. There he is, fighting with rocks. Generally, it's all going quite well, so I'm happy at the moment. I'm hoping these few corals may recover. They don't look like they are after that crab attacked them, but we'll have to see. You may notice that there are some fish missing. I had a white spot outbreak, lost the fire fish, and I had to remove the Midas blenny and the Fijian blue-eyed tang had to treat them with copper in a separate tank and then now upstairs recovering but the fish that are remaining seem to be fighting it off themselves so I'm just keeping a, a keen eye on them overall it's looking quite good Now if you look under the rock on the left, you will see a tiny pink face, which is a Swiss guard. It's a collect Swiss guard, which I'd never heard of before, but it is incredibly beautiful. Here's a photo. Hard to take a photo of it because it's very shy. I run my tank on the Zeovit system, famous for the little blue bottles. It is possible to run the system on just those three bottles on the left, which are Zeo Start, which deals with phosphates, Zeo Back, which feeds the bacteria that deal with all the waste, and Sponge Power, which feeds the corals. There are many other coral feeds available, and it's up to you to choose which you like. And here's the sun, which is a typical Zeobit system sun. I have a Niles Quantum Skimmer, which acts as the first stage of the filtration. And next to that, Deltec Zeo Reactor, which contains zeolite stones, which house bacteria which break down the waste. Water is pumped continually, but in addition, the blue pump on the left pumps vigorously twice a day for one minute at a time to loosen any mould and keep it clear. The black pipe is where it discharges into the final chamber and you can see a bag of carbon that sat there acting passively i think i need to find a system of making it more active also i've got a vectra return pump and in the final chamber which is fresh water housing a tons osmolator which keeps it top This is controlled with an apex system which isn't too hard to set up works very well I dose alkalinity and calcium via these high-tech dosing vessels Now 
it's time to feed the stars of the show because they've worked very hard today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the film.